For a while now, I've wanted to do a video series on products that parents can purchase for their kids to help them learn about science, technology, robotics, and more. Not too long ago, I walked around a bunch of stores and looked for robotics kits. I tried to find something that was based off of Arduino or Raspberry Pi, but I couldn't find anything. Walmart? Nope. Target? Nope. Best Buy? Nothing. I almost gave up, so I decided to change my search parameters just a tiny bit. I looked for robotics kits up to $99 that were actual robotics kits. Not just a machine with a crank, but something with a battery, a processor, some sort of control and functionality. My goal was to find something on a budget that required assembly, required programming, and led to learning. Well, I discovered this at Target. The Jimu Robot. Or I should say the Jimu Robots BuilderBots kit. What I'm here to find out today is, well, does this thing suck or not? Stay tuned to find out. According to the box, it's an interactive robotic building block system. It says that you can build two different robot designs using this kit. It includes four servo motors, an infrared sensor, and an LED light. And it also says that you can build your robot and learn to code. All in all, it's a 357 part kit. Well, let's go ahead and open it up. It's even still got the cling wrap on it. The packaging is very well done. It does not feel cheap. You could tell that they put some money into developing this product, but you know, what's it like on the inside? The BuilderBots kit combines the mobility and function of construction machines with the personality of your own robot that you build from the ground up. Breathe life into your robot with the Jimu app using Blockly coding to make the GrabberBot execute a variety of actions. Then, take it apart to build the DigBot. Learning real robotics and coding has never been this much fun. Ever. So as noted, comes with servo motors, main control box, parts, it comes with parts, an LED light, an infrared sensor, and tank treads. Alright, one thing that I'm noticing already is step one is get the free app. The problem here is this does not come with directions in the form of a book. You need an app to do anything with this robot. All right. Let's go ahead and do what I don't want to do. Download more apps. Well, the first thing I notice is that this says download the Jimu robot app, but they don't have a Jimu robot app. There's just a Jimu app. So I guess we're going to find out if this is the correct app. Oh, there it is. Okay, so from the home page of the app, there's three options on the bottom. Story, model, community. On this, it says launch the app on your smartphone or tablet and select the model you wish to build. So I'm guessing you have to click model. Okay, that's exactly what you do. So you do that, then you select GrabberBot. So it's downloading all the relevant information. Okay, so if I click build. Oh. Well, this is new. This is how you know if it's been opened or not. This is really pretty. Before I even go to that, I've got to say, this packaging is exceptional. It gives a very well thought out parts list. The packaging, the, the coloring is outstanding. One color for fasteners, one color for your main control box, another for your robotic, and ser uh, your robotic servo motors. Not a fan of the white font on the yellow. That's actually kind of hard to read, even here in person. Recharging power adapter. So this is your power supply. And it even comes with a pull tab to lift it out. And you will get a quick start guide. And underneath the quick start guide is where you get parts and connectors. Whoever thought of this really did put a lot of thought into this. I'm very proud of this. I'm, pr I'm proud of the designer. Power adapter made by DVE, name brand company. Your power output is 9.6 volts. Why not just make it USB 
USB-C or USB micro and make it 5 volts, 2.5 amps like, you know, most companies do these days. Oh, well. But they, uh, they definitely took a little bit out of the Apple handbook here. This looks gorgeous. So the robotic servo motors, there's four of them. This is the main control box. You've got your 9.6 volt input. Here's your battery. Very easily removable by removing these two plastic pins. Don't lose those. So fasteners, it's just a whole bunch of Lego style pieces, I suppose. Very colorful. And here are the cords. Character parts. This is very reminiscent of the very expensive uh, Lego kits. This from, uh, you know, on the main set, I built the BB-8 that's in the background. That took about three and a half hours to build. The kits were very similar to this. So, here's more plastic. Oh, what did that box say? Connectors! So, okay. Then you've got your infrared sensor here. I approve. So, I guess it's time to get rid of the box. But I'm going to treat it with respect because I like this box. Whoever put the time and energy into designing this packaging deserves an award. They did a fantastic job. Ah, f*** it, I'll do the rest later. So this thing says I need servo ID number three. <laughs> So here's what I can tell you right now. It will say part C4 on the screen, but uh, it doesn't say it anywhere on the part itself. Not only that, but the part looks a little bit different than it does in the model. I need to make sure this is the right part that I'm looking at here. And of course, as you would expect, it needs to update the firmware. But I will say connecting initially is extremely simple. You turn it on, you click connect, and it basically just does the entire thing automatically. If there's one thing that this development company seems to have gotten right, it, it really is the software. I'm not a big fan of the way the directions work. Um, I do like that they're 3D. You could spin them around. But what I don't like is that they give all of the parts a number, but they don't stamp the number on the part itself. And the 3D model for the part is different from what the actual part looks like. All right, the firmware update has completed. <laughs> it has a speaker in it. And it ripped its hand off by trying to grab me. Maybe I'll give it something a little bit easier to, uh, to grab. I'll give it one of its, uh, one of its own boxes here. You know, I'm not 100% sure how to get this thing to grab yet. There we go. Got it to grab. I've got to say, this whole thing is extremely easy to use. I, I actually quite like this as a whole. Okay, so I can put something down, but can it pick it back up? Eh, not really. So let's see, actions. 
Holy crap. No joke, that actually scared me a little bit. This is called standby. The animation shows what it should do. This is called cheer. Move backward. Move forward. I got a little bit stuck there. Crawl. Ready. Place. Happy. Push open. Angry. And open. Now what I can say is by default, nothing with infrared or the LEDs is programmed in the programming that comes for this specific unit. Which is a little disappointing because I wanted to see it work out of the box without having to work for it. That's the thing. I wanted to see it work out of the box because there's nothing in here that really teaches you how to do the programming. I mean, it does have a coding option, but I just, I wanted to see it do something. You know, I, I don't, I don't feel like that's too much to ask. So what are my final thoughts on this item? Well, quite honestly, I think it would be good as an educational tool. For you to get this robot to do anything other than basic movements that they pre-programmed, such as making it wave or pick something up, you do have to program it yourself. For you to plug it in uh, and hook it up, you have to understand that JST connectors are one way. You have to understand that the servo motors need to operate in a specific way because they're all ID'd. Um, from what I can tell, they have their own servo motor driver built into each block, so it's a one-wire type system. It just seems like a really solid system, and honestly, seeing it work is kind of fun. In another video, I'm going to tear this entire thing down and rebuild it to the DigBot. Let me know what your thoughts are on this product. Let me know what your thoughts are of this video. If this is something you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments. I rely on your comments to know what to make. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button if you like this video. Click subscribe if you like what I do, and have a fantastic day. See ya.